So my husband broke his ankle and we're trying to find new options to help him get around while he's healing. Now, he tried to be a big burly man by telling me that he is fine with just crutches. But let me tell you, when I came home with this knee scooter, he took to it and loved it. Okay, now you could see a lot of perks to it, okay, because of having the wheels, he had a lot more control and balance to move, okay? He loved having the basket, okay? Sure, he could put a dog in there, but it was really handy to take some of his things around the house by having that basket, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of having a knee scooter, Okay, so a knee scooter can hold up to 350 pounds and for somebody who is average 4 feet 11 inches to 6 foot 6 inches, okay? And it has all the adjustable parts in order to accommodate, you know, different sizes and shapes of people using a knee scooter. Now, the pros are improved mobility versus crutches, in and outdoor use due to the all-terrain wheels, having a handbrake for when dogs or people are crossing your path, that basket, I'm telling you, I love a good basket. It's foldable to put into the car, and it's great for ankle and foot fractures, whether or not you have a cam boot or a surgery or a cast. Okay, now the cons are it's, not available for stairs, okay? Now, we do live in a two-story house, so my husband had to get used to using a handrail and a crutch in order to do the stairs. It is an out-of-pocket cost. You do need to account for the wide turn and with steering, and the product weighs about 20 pounds. So being able to lift 20 pounds to put in and out of a car is definitely important.